Hey, hey, you're here with Easy Jeezy. What's the last thing you want to see when you pull off a valve cover? Well, I'll show you what the last thing is you want to see. is pieces of metal laying in there. Yeah, two nuts and washers. Right. The other day, I went to take in the, the buggy out for a little spin and started it up. It started just fine. But it was missing and popping and snorting. I hadn't run it in a long time. Uh, was running fine when I parked it. But uh, uh, I got out and I felt around the tailpipe here. Nothing coming out the tailpipe. So I shut it off right away. And I got that valve cover off and saw these uh, nuts and washers in there. Uh, I broke the studs. Snapped them. Snapped them clean right off. You can tell by the break over there is kind of a, it almost looks like a fracture, you know. And things you want to look for on something like that is maybe some discoloration uh, caused from heat. Um, here's a couple of brand new studs. I already replaced them. I happen to have these studs, and they're just like the ones I took out, you know. They've got that blued color to them, and, and it looks like a nice thread on there, a fracture in the thread. I don't know. Uh... This has got a stock cam in this 2 liter engine and I decided because of the displacement I'd go with a 1.4 ratio rocker and that's what uh, I put on there. I've showed it several times in several videos and it's a nice clean setup. I got a little bit of the, the stud. Here's, here's where it broke off right here and uh, these are ratio rockers 1.4. Uh, you want to always check for coil bind whenever you're putting anything non-stock on. Uh, don't just do the math and figure you got her made. Uh, you need to put feeler gauges in there and check the springs. Rotate your engine during your pre-assembly, uh, your trial build, and and see what how it works out. I, I double-checked it just now with a feeler gauge. And the way you do that is just uh, stick them between the coils on the spring. Keep adding feeler gauges until you can't get it in there anymore. And this came out to uh, like 70 thousandths. So there's plenty of space there on the spring. I don't know what was pushing that out. Um, you want to pull your push, rod, uh, push rods out of the engine and roll them like a pool cue on a flat surface to see, uh, make sure that they're round. But uh, it was kind of a kind of a bummer. I haven't had any trouble with this. I've been running it for about three years. Uh, I generally never even come close to over revving it. Uh, Five thousand RPM and 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 that's it. Fifty five hundred, uh, and that's quite a bit for a uh, stock cam. But uh, I've got heavy duty valve springs on there. A stock valve spring will generally be about. Uh, between 75 and 130 pounds pressure and uh, an average aftermarket heavy-duty single spring will run about uh, 130 to 175 and double springs will run uh, 175 to 240 and that's the open closed position and on up from there it depends on what your cam and your racing application or whatever it is you're doing and this isn't a race car this is just a little hobby car i tried to do it right got the oil filters on it and but it's a very mild engine and i wanted to share that with you it's just something that uh happened i don't really know why i'll be keeping an eye on it and and definitely keep you posted in case something happens i'll i'll be uh Glad it happened here in the garage. That wouldn't have been nice happening up in the wilderness where I like to go. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy, out.